What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Draft. There's actually quite a few exciting cards in this pack. I really, really like Starnheim Unleashed, and I think it's extremely powerful. Same way I feel about Cryptic Command. I think Goldspan Dragon is an extremely solid red 5-drop. Opposition is very powerful. And I think DAC is good, but DAC is not as good in the Legacy Cube as he is in the Vintage Cube for very, very obvious reasons. Um, no good white, though. This is a really strong white card. And it only requires a single white. Like, on turn 5, you're making two 4-4 four, four flyers, which is extremely strong. Even for Legacy Cube standards. That being said... I'm going to take this. How are you going to play magic with all the Dementors flying around? That That is actually my least favorite part of prison, yeah. I, I The Dementors are the worst part about prison. So if we took Opposition, we really actually wouldn't have any great picks here. We could have Overgrown or Hydroid Crassus. Cryptic Command is basically a white card. Sure. You know what? Sure. Okay, so I kind of want to take Damnation here. I think we pair these two. I'm taking Damnation. We're gonna. I want to be black white like control. Huh. I don't want Ravages. Maybe I want Badlands, and we can be Mardu. Oh, I'm taking the Badlands. I'm excited. Oh, Blood Crypt. Oh, Sacred Foundry. It's all happening. That's an early Obliterator too. Which will probably table, to be quite honest. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Sacred Foundry because it gives us a way to splash the white. I'm, I'm honestly not gonna. Wait, that might come back. We're gonna take Blood Crypt. I'm taking Blood Crypt, with a theory that Sacred Foundry is more likely to come back than Blood Crypt. Thank you. Might just be Agony's Awakening. It's Mr. X. What up? Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Twenty nine months. That's longer than I've been alive. Yeah, I'll just take Agony's Way. None of these cards are exciting. Oh, Chain Lightning. That's not very exciting. Riftwing Cloudskate is, though. And it also makes me think we can get a Nickel Bolt <laughs> and just be Mardu, or uh, Grixis. Because, I mean, what's the alternative? Chain Lightning or Makeshift Mannequin? And Revel Arc's not super exciting. I don't know, man. What are you going to do? I'm thinking I'm going to take a Rift Riftwing Cloudskate and just hedge on it. We've passed Armageddon and Ravages of War. And I'm totally fine with it because those cards aren't fun for anybody. Literally no one. Okay, now we're talking. We got Bedevil, Cavalier, Duplicant, Arena. Even Rydane and Pyrus. Like, this pack is actually stacked, and if any of these cards comes back, I'm okay with it. I'm going to take Arena, actually. Drawing two cards a turn in the Legacy Cube seems pretty decent, and White can probably gain us some life if we if we stick to it. <sighs> Definite Clarion. Oh, Magister of Worth is a banger. So is Ophiomancer. Man, this pack is also good. Jeez. I think it's Magister. Magister's just another sweeper. Destroy all other creatures. Yeah, that seems just great. Plus, we could get the Definite Clarion. And we're also not necessarily red yet. Even though we have Badlands and Blood Crypt. Dragon Skull Summit. You know what? We're going to Dragon Skull Summit. We're going to make the red splash the easiest thing ever. 
Do you guys know, um, I think his name is Chris Simpson's, Chris Simpson's drawings I do or something. Chris Simpson's artist. Do you guys know this, this guy? Simpson's pictures that I gone and done. Because it's really creepy. And uh, I just saw this safe guide to hugging right now. So before hugging, carefully clean the whole of your body with hand gel. And they have like nine fingers. Uh, hug from behind to avoid sucking their infected mouth germs inside of yourself. That's good. To be extra safe, why not just hug their legs? And we're going to take Kalidus here for obvious reasons. And then finally, when the hugging is complete, wash each other with hand gel and say goodbye. So it's really just the, you know, the safest possible way you could, you could hug, I think. And that's really, that's really good. <laughs> Inspiring vantage. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's gotta go to the dark rich one skyclave shade, right? Oh, the obliterator did come back. Budge. Some, look how many four drops we have now. Whatever. Oh, the bedevil came back. That's kind of cool. <laughs> this stream is fun and educational. I may have been hugging wrong for you. Yeah, but it's okay. It's not easy, you know. Uh, Godless Shrine. See this, unlike the last deck, this mana base is friggin' incredible. I think we're gonna take the Apparition and hope that the Godless Shrine comes back. I mean, we can also take Yorion, Affliction, and eh, we're just taking the Apparition. That's cool. <laughs> Actually, Verdant Catacombs seems better than Courtyard, and Courtyard will probably come back. I do like Lantern, and turn three Lantern makes turn four Obliv Oblivion, Obliterator, Man, those are some orders right there. A little easier to cast. And by a little easier, I mean it makes it completely easier to cast. But we are going to take the Catacombs, because if we get the Godless Shrine, it's just a Tri-Land. Could also get a Scrub Land as well. Let's hope the wife likes this new way of hugging in 2021. You know, I really think she will. I think she'll really appreciate it. See, this is not exciting. I don't think we need another red black land. I think I'm just taking Heroes Downfall. I don't think we need a four drop either. I'm not sure if this this archetype actually has two drops. So it's really it's really up in the air. Depending on how good our mana base is, like this guy could just Oh, there's a plateau. I like that. I do like Monastery Mentor. Let's just take the plateau. I mean, so far we only have one red card, but things could change. There's a little Burgy. Uh, seven drop, Power Stone, Mind Stone. So many stones. Kidney Stone. I think I just like Shouldered here. I think it's nice and strong. It's a nice strong card, you know? Well, to be fair, it's not 3 a.m. where I am, so. Man, Scarab God and Gear Hulk in this pack is nice. I think we're just taking Bane Slayer here. Ow. Do we just take Bonfire and try to try to get him? Yeah, we're taking Bonfire and we're going to try to get him. Now we're taking Valky because that's on color and that's the perfect thing to splash with this red. Yeah, it's only like 1243 here, so not not too bad. But to be fair, I may still be awake at three. So actually, I'm 100%. Yay, more miracles. <laughs> well, Sonat, I know you love the mechanic because you were talking about how, how much it's meant to you. So I was like, you know what? This is for you, buddy. I actually feel like we have a pretty reasonable control deck with Damnation. Uh, a, a re but yeah, now we're just taking the two drop. I thought he was just bragging about the mechanic. Yeah, I think so too.
I know what insomnia and sleep apnea are, but I don't know what RLS is. I also don't know how someone can only sleep eight hours a week because I feel like you'd die. I kind of like first steak here. I don't care about a red cap or any of these other... Oh, Lava Claw Reaches came back? Jeez. Oh, Restless Lake Syndrome. Oh my god. Being glorious, man. Like, that sounds like it's a miserable time in a bed. That's like the perfect storm of bad sleep and luck, man. hundred one Q days? That's too many. Yeah, we'll take this guy. You know, I don't think we're playing this guy. Let's be honest. Huh. I got a sleep expert coming in. Let me let me bring him in here and we'll see what he can do for you. Best he can do is four days. I think Burgie's really good. I think this horn is also really good. Yeah, we'll take a firebolt. I think that's better than a rift bolt. Which kind of bolt do you like? I think as a five drop, just playing Harnfell Horn is pretty sweet. I do like a Robert Nixilis. I think it's probably the best card for us as well. The Galdas Shrine did not come back. So we're just holding out for a, a scrubby here. Don't think Witch Bolt is in the cube. Man, is there a Witch Bolt? It could be black red. It can deal three damage to any target. Oh, is it a D and D? Is Witch Bolt a D and D spell? That's interesting. <laughs> Did someone say Sleep Expert? I think Liliana seems great here. A Bloodstain Mire? You're killing me. Also, Liliana of the Veil. I think it's got to be Mire. Like, it gets Plateau and Blood Crypt and Badlands. Like, that's just really good for us. Angrass Rampage is pretty strong. There's a lot of packs that, like, I feel like things could come back. This is the worst Soren. I really wish it was a different Soren in this, in this cube. Um, but I think Glorybringer is banging. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sources of red in the sideboard alone. I bet Smiting Helix or Journey, or even that Soren come back. I'm, I'm down for a Bitter Blossom. <sighs> Actually, Bitter Blossom and Phyrexian Arena. I don't think we want to cut white. God, maybe though. I mean, we have, what, five white cards? It puts us on to 16 playables, which is not great. I actually think I like Heartless Act more than Bitter Blossom here. It's a lot of removal, though. I'm going to take the Bitter Blossom. I think it's just less replaceable. Eh, Phoenix is good. Mana Confluence. Let's take Tribunal. Oh, Elspeth Conqueror's Death is a banger. And first pack again. All right, so... Let's just take Sword. Okay, we need one cut so far. Boots of Hasate. <laughs> Equip him with the boots of Hasate. It's it's French. Everybody knows that. Oh god, I'll just take a revoker here. Bloodline Keeper came back. I actually kinda like that guy better than Obliterator. Oh, Needle Spires was nice there. Jeez. Now I need two cuts. I guess we can cut Damnation for now. I feel like we have a good amount of removal. Oh, the Soren and the Smiting Helix came back. Jeez. Yeah, I'll take the Soren, I guess. 
Still a planeswalker. Yeah, we'll take this guy. All right, so that was a lot of good late pickups. I think we can cut Burgie. Cut Firebolt. You kind of suck. You kind of suck. I kind of want one five drop to go. Is all of our, are all of our lands playable? Yes, they are. Wow, that's really good. You just got Bonfire. It's really cute, but I also just kind of want a Bonfire. I'm going to cut the bonfire. <laughs> Whatever. It's only nine creatures. One of which is a Valky, but that's countered by the bitter block. Oh, we'll take, we'll take Forsake out, actually. Soren makes creatures. Yeah, I think we're actually probably going to be fine. We're a control deck. What could go wrong? So we don't need any... I don't think we need any mountains, to be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have literally nine red sources without a mountain. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten black. Three... Is Bloodstained Mire? Yes. Four, five, six, seven, seven... Okay, let's do it like this. The four planes really make the Phyrexian Obliterator awkward, though. Oh, 39. We got another one. Um, Frank Connick, Disciple with a resub. Really appreciate it, my dude. Welcome back. Good seeing you, buddy. So let's count the white again. We got Blood Crypt. No, Bloodstained Myers, all colors. Verdant Catacombs, I don't think, is all colors. I don't think we're getting a white with this. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight white sources. In black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten black sources. Eight, ten. Yeah, all right. And we still have like nine red sources without adding any red. I, I'm really, I'm reluctant here, but even if you don't play, like the thing is, even if you don't get to play on like turn four, it's still good. And we're canceling this and playing Agadim's Awakening because that's, that's the card that should be in there instead. No one said anything either. I hit play. Did I not want to play? And if you guys are enjoying the content, definitely consider subscribing or following. It's a great way to help out. If you guys have Twitch Prime, which is when you connect your Amazon Prime and Twitch accounts, you get a free sub every month, and it's really helpful. And then I get to eat food and pay my rent and uh, do all the things that a growing content creator gets to do, even though I've made content for like 10 years. But that's okay. It's okay. Not okay. Is the delay in finding a match here? Shut up and take my money. Oh, current one subscribe box. <laughs> it doesn't do the thing you think it does, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, man. I'm going through my second 26 ounces. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm going to mulligan this because one of the hand, one of the smells is better. I'm going to put Bonfire back because I think that's worse than Magister here. 
Oh, one uno buco del <laughs> subscribe mente. Oh, see. Si. So we can get blood crypt with this, which is pretty banging. Lava claw reaches. Huh. So we can get blood crypt and badlands. Let's go get Blood Crypt first, because Bloodstained Mire can also get Plateau, just in case we need that. I haven't been able to watch for some time now. Do you still stream with Mike? Uh, when Michael is not working, he might he might stop in, but usually I'm streaming while he's working, so. But he's still here. Son of a biscuit. Now I just got to get a Plateau with this. Ugh, God. In vulgar, vulgar's do dollar. I man, if only I knew. If only I knew how to pronounce German. Or Dutch, rather. <laughs> for some reason, I, for some reason, when I see Dutch, I think it's Deutsch, and then I think it's German, and I'm like, wait, that's actual Dutch, not German. I wish I wish Dutch and Deutsch were not <laughs> so similar. But, you know, man, what are you gonna do, really? I think we have to kill this, despite the fact that I like having. I, I would rather get a guy off of Kalidus, but I don't think, like, letting this guy survive, then letting them play another creature, then letting them play another... You know what? You got it. Let's move. That's a little bit this way. I don't know if that's any better. I guess I did kill an Oko. All right. In Finnish, Hinga Dinga Durgan. I don't think that's, I, I feel like that's inaccurate. I, uh, Snapcaster Mage. Okay. I feel like you might be putting a, pulling a fast one on me here. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Kurt with one, do, one buck in actual Japanese that I can't, I cannot translate, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I bet it says one Japanese buck. And I wonder how close I am. If they control magic, this are probably dead. We're going to combat. Interesting. I mean, we're going to block. We gain three here. We take out a goblin. If they have a burn spell, it's whatever. They did not have a burn a burn now spell. They also cannot Snapcaster Force of Negation. It says one subscribe, Buck. All right. All right, and... They're going to counter this for sure. They had four cards and they didn't play anything. You got it. All righty, then. I mean, Magister worth if they don't have a counter spell for it is pretty good. But I'm not sure I want to trade my. This is weird because I'm gaining three and taking two, so I'm still netting life here. Oh, I guess it's like if they have to attack with one, they might as well just attack with everything. That's interesting. Oh, this is actually insane because Magister worth is going to trigger here. Yeah, this is actually really bananas, I think. So I think we're just getting a swamp here, to be quite honest. Yep, I will choose Condemnation, right? Yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> and that'll do, pig. I'm pretty sure, like, you could just tell the moment the game's over. Yep, that was the one. All right. So now I think we do bring in Damnation against them. I also think Phyrexian Obliterator might be fantastic because they're probably going to uh, only have damage-based removal. Firebolt also seem good. Rampage seem not good. All of our, all of our things seem actually pretty decent. Shut up and take my money. Take Shieldred out. 
a little slow. Oh, one, is that Chinese? Korean? Oh man. One thing. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Three, four drops. My kingdom for a mind stone. We did see force of negation and negate, so that's something to keep in mind. I'm pretty sure they're going to Oko here. Let's just play this for now. I don't know if I want a second black for damnation or a second white. 100 yen subscription. Yeah, that guy's fine. Huh. I think we're going to get a second white here. And I'm going to steal your boy. And then if they want to kill this and get a 3-3, like, okay. We have damnation at that point, so... Roker, what do you name? Gideon? Sure. <laughs> you know what? Sure, why not? Draw a step. Okay. Cast you. One, two, three. Dunzo. Yep. Now who is the aggressive deck? Would have liked to land, but... That's good. Oh, if we get a land, we can go Soren plus one and then kill Jace. That seems really good. Jeez. Let's do that. We didn't get a land. Well, it's okay. It's only turn five. I'm warp. Not bad. Their deck felt much less controlly last game with Legion War Boss and you know, lots of creatures. <sighs> it's kind of frustrating. It doesn't matter what land you choose when you have three four drops, four four drops, and two five drops in your hand, and you don't get any more lands. I feel like we just want to go to the next game here. I know we're at 19, but it's like, come on, dude. Whatever. I'll play this for one. If like if they want to trade their Jace because they don't have an answer for it, that's fine. They could also just negate it, I guess. I would 100% negate this, yes. Or I would miss... Yep, that's the end. I'm not going to... I'm not going to play around your Mystic Confluence and you're drawing two more cards with a Jace on board and an Ancestral Vision resolving. Like, Nope, that's all I need to see, my dude. Now I'm bringing in Rampage because of your Planeswalkers that I see have seen more of. Take out Obliterator. Keep taking out creatures, though. Eh, what are you going to do? Yep, keep this. Second black. Let's do it. That's not it. <sighs> Come on. Don't do me like this. I have nine, ten black sources in the deck. Oh, God. Well, it gave me something to do, I guess. But really, we have nothing to do without the, the second black source. 
Come on, Oko. Yep, there we go. We can Conclave Tribunal this dummy. You could do that too, but not yet. Come on, Black Source. Double, 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 double. Really? <laughs> really? You know what? Sure. Shoot the stupid Jace. That's unbelievable, man. This is amazing. Thank you. Oh, man, Odysseus. What up, dude? Thank you for the gifted subs, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Thank you. Thank you so much. Always good to see you, man. Tell me how Canada's treating you. Thank you. It has been too long. Thank you. Hey, okay, we'll have six through this turn too. <sighs> Good times. Odysseus, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. I am. I'm quite well. We're moving this weekend uh, on Sunday, and we're going to be spending all day tomorrow packing and loading up the U-Haul. And it's going to be exhausting, and I'm not looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, that's life. So they have a negate, I'm pretty sure. Hey, look at that. Look at it. Look with your special eyes. We could actually ob kill this guy and they have a 1-1. One, one. But then they could counter it as well. I think it's more important to kill Jace if we're able to. I mean, they have five cards. Oh, all right, Jace just dies. I mean, this is definitely a situation where I just want a damnation here. If we also have Firebolt to kill the... Legion War Boss. They have six cards. They have more lands than us. Like, <sighs> Jason the Time Walk is a hell of a drug, man. Yeah, okay. That's fascinating. Nothing in the graveyard to get back. I mean, eventually they're just going to counter one of these things, right? They just have so much card advantage that, like, we can't really compete with it. They also seem to be more of a control deck than we initially expected. Hulk 81, Hulk 181, 8.5. And giant size X Men? That's like 30k. <laughs> That was pretty wild, man. Wow, that's wild, dude. Oh my god, every time I move, I become less sentimental about stuff. So, 100%. Every time I move, I'm like, I don't need this. Don't need this. Did they just, did they just play this and attack with this and take nothing? What did they take? They targeted their own land. Oh, because they have... Um, Yeah, they have Force of Negation here. I'd rather bait with this because I think Ob sticking around is better than this sticking around. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to get rid of this. <laughs> I don't know if that's better or not, but... It's Canadian, so that's like 37 American bugs. <laughs> oh, man. If you are getting if you're getting a Hulk 181 and, Giant, and GSM number one for... Cool. All right. Well, that's that, I guess. God, we're just destined to lose every first round. 
ECD does get odd, but it's in three turns. And the issue is like, I don't think. And I, and I was correct, I guess. I don't. I was like, I don't think we're gonna last three turns. I mean, they drew a million more cards than we did, so. No, no black mana and bonfire in hand. Just not going to keep that. Uh, this is better, but not by a ton. Obliterator with two black sources. Yeah, ASM number one is also a... Uh, it's a Gorel issue on my list as well. I mean, it's just like... The question is, like, do I try to pick one up that's low grade like a 2.5 to, to like four or do i wait until i'm in a better financial position and you know pick a pick a really good one up speaking of which uh in case you're curious i have my third uh my, the third part of my interview with Riot Games this week, so that should be cool. Uh, two point five is pretty rough, but like the thing is, like when they're in, when they're in, um, when they're graded, they still look good. I don't know. It's like hard to. It's weird because it's like, it's like you're preserving a piece of history, and it's just like. Even like really classic books that are like 3.0, 1.5, 2.5, like they look cool in, in cases. Or playing against Cho Mano himself, who is a uh, white legendary creature from some Mercadian masks. Ch -ch -ch Cho. Chomano. Chomano was initially in Mercadian Masks. It's a four mana 2 2 Rebel Legend for all damage that would be dealt to it. That seems pretty okay. Let's do that. Let's go Bitter B. Oh, Bitter B. Yeah, I actually sold my 9.4 recently for about 1400 which I think is pretty good. That's pretty much where I want to be. Like, the most recent sales are like 1500 1500 Best offer lower than 1500 So I'm actually, I'm, I'm definitely satisfied with what I got off of that guy. Why didn't I play Kalidus last turn? I don't know. I think it's because they're just not doing anything. I'm kind of... Kind of talking to you guys, you know? You know what I'm saying, guys? Oh, Odysseus, hold up. Will they re remand that guy? Sure, that's fine. Odysseus, use your power wisely. Well, they know we have this guy now. Yeah, man, for sure. I'll do that. That was very Greek epic of you. There's some great comics. Castner closing on the, what? Uh, 
Well, I don't know. What does that mean? And Narset? Why are these people all got the Narsets? I think this guy is way too ambitious for this deck, I'm going to be honest. I think it should just be Sublime Archangel. Kastner Auctions. I've actually never heard of Kastner Auctions. That 30% you make is incredible. What does that mean? What, what are you saying right now? Explain yourself to me, my friend. Explain to me. I don't understand running the Snapcaster into the Fairy Rogue, and I also don't understand just running Snapcaster out with no nothing else on board. Okay. Well, that's some bullshit. Soren plus one-ing is pretty cool. Yep, you're dead. You're dead. We're just going to kill Narset here. I don't want them to, like, make us draw three. And plus, like, we can go Soren next turn, plus Soren. And then... It's till the till your next turn, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Fucking Christ. Come on, dude. Sorry, that was super obnoxious. God. Cool. Canadian trades at 72, so you make 28 per dollar from USD to Canadian. That's interesting. Odysseus, do I need to look into Kastner auctions? Yep, guess I'll take six. Oh, that's interesting. Is morbid when any creature dies? If a creature died this turn... Oh, this is actually oh, fuck. I have I have too little black, dude. <laughs> I don't even have enough black for it. Oh my god. For some reason, that link didn't work. It just took me to a main page of a bunch of auctions. I've actually never even heard of Kastner Auctions, which is pretty funny. So, we have to kill this. And then we can't really do much else, unfortunately. Let me just block here, take two, die to our own bitter blossom. Yep, all right. Wow. Plus, they have Electrolyze in hand, so. I'm taking out one of the... We're taking out Phyrexian Obliterator. Bring in Firebolt. Take out a Plains. Add a Swamp. So if they attack with Inferno Titan, they're just going to deal us three because we're at three. While, yes, they could target the Fairy, that would be super weird. And now I have a double white card. This is so weird. I thought a mana base was so good. The problem is you don't have enough black white lands. We have a ton of red, black, and red white lands. No, we were at three. We were at three when we died. Somebody go back and clip it. Go back and clip that we were at three. Because we took one from Bitter Blossom. I'm going to shift this hand. Uh, this is a keeper. Under crypt. No, I believe you. No super average. We were a three. <laughs> Somebody prove it to him. <sighs> I 
land. Not the land we're hoping for with a hero's downfall in hand, but all right. Good thing we added that extra black source. This this keep has been so hit or miss. Like either I absolutely crush, or I can't win games. On the main page, scroll down a bit to the comic section. Not as great, but some nice. Uh, isn't the main? Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm just gonna keep the page up, and I'm just gonna look at it a bunch later. Are you talking about the incredible comic book online auction ending May 28th? It says ending May 28th, but it also says start in six days. Ends in six days, start in six days. I don't understand. Oh, I, yeah, my FF5 was one of the best. Fucking, this is ridiculous was one of the best possible pickups uh, that I've ever made. And I actually picked it up from Patrick Sullivan, which was pretty sweet. Yep, cool, another four drop. Sounds good. Oh, boy. This is fun. This is, These have been good matches. The conversation is really what I'm here for. Uh, I picked it up graded from Patrick Sullivan. It was a 4.0. Uh, I had it pressed and resubmitted, and it's now a 4.5 with white pages. Hey, cool. Coolsville, daddy -o. I really don't want you to clone this and kill it, though, so what do I do? What do? I guess we'll just wait. Yeah, it's like the crown jewel in my in my in my collection right now. Interesting. I hope I hit a land, because I'd rather conquer. And actually, conclave might be better here because we do have. We don't have anything in the graveyard, so I just want to make sure we're able to cast. This and get some value off of it. I mean, there's like pact of negation, force of negation, force of will. The three comics I want. Yep, there's the force of will. Um, it's actually a good question. Jeez, I don't know. Like I've always wanted Hulk 181, but I always end up keep having to sell it because it's just like, so the value of Hulk 181 it was too high. I paid 3,600 last year for it, and I sold it for 8,500, and it's just like, that's just insane. <laughs> it's just an insane return on investment. I bought it in like October of last year, so it's just like things are going having have gone crazy. And um, I just couldn't justify holding it. Um, oh, what up, Mediocre Magic Man? Yeah. I guess we'll get rid of Sahili here. I don't... I know I have a list... Let me see if I can find some comics on my list. Uh, ch -ch -ch comic book wish list. Here we go. I, I ASM number five is definitely on my list, uh, which is the first appearance of Doctor Doom outside of the Fantastic Four and versus Spider-Man, which is pretty sweet. Um, I do want ASM 20, which is the first appearance of the scorpion. Like a lot of these are attainable. They're super attainable. I'm, I'm just going to concede here. Like this is not even a mana issue. It's a literal can't draw five lands <laughs> issue. So what are you going to do? Also, what up music mediocre magic manly? Good seeing you buddy. Um, I have fantastic Four 13 and 20 on my list. Uh, 13 is the first appearance of the watcher. 20 is the first appearance of molecule man. Giant Size is on my list. I've had I had a 7.5 copy of Giant Giant Size. I sold it for like 750 a couple years back. It's funny, I want Giant Size and Hulk 181 in my collection because I I think they're 
like they're grail books that are historic with cool characters, but I'm not a huge X-Men fan. You know, I like the X-Men. I do. I think they're cool. I have a Wolverine statue. I have a Sabretooth statue. Um, I have Magneto. But, like, I'm not, like, super over the moon about X-Men. Like, I'm a bigger Spider-Man and Avengers fan. Like, some people are crazy about X-Men. And, and I'm just, like, a bigger Spider-Man fan. This is a very, very... Of course, the one hand where we can cast all our spells is the one where it has, like, turn two card that deals you one damage, turn three card that deals you one damage. Well, we're in the O2 bracket, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh, we're playing against mono red. <laughs> oh, God. Just kill me now. And the red player's like, that's exactly the point. <clears throat> yep. I actually don't even know if we play arena here, to be quite honest. Unless we draw, like... Actually, that's probably going to convince me to play Arena. We take two a turn, but Soren giving all of our creatures plus one, plus oh, and lifeling. Is Cyclops still evil? Um, It doesn't look like it currently. But I also haven't read, like, the past year and a half of X-Men. So I really... No spoilers, please. Um, But yeah, it was... Cyclops being evil is pretty... Uh, It's... It makes sense. I don't know. It's like, I think it's good for him as a character. Like, it makes sense because he's always kind of been like a super insecure dude, you know? Does that make sense? Y'all understand what I'm saying here? About, y'all understand about Cyclops? All right. Plus that guy. Oh, Odysseus, another comic that's actually on my list, which is kind of funny. It's a very, very recent book. It's the Marvel 1000 um with mickey mouse on the cover i'll show you guys actually it's one of my it's actually super sweet grab a picture of it real quick open image in the new tab yeah it looks like this this is marvel comics number 1000 and it literally has Mickey giving Spider-Man, Black Panther, Iron Man, Captain Marvel, and Captain America a cake with 80 on it for their 80th anniversary. And it's super sweet. Like, it's just so cool. Like, it's just such an iconic... Like, as someone who loves both Disney and Marvel, like, it's just kind of perfect. Um, I mean, I think we're just going to go... It's just spell or ability. Okay. So we're going to take three, but we're also going to attack for two. Hmm. Get in there and gain two life. Like, it's just such a, it's such an iconic cover. Like, it's so classic. And it's such a, like, Mickey Mouse appreciating, like, all, all of Mar. Like, it's just cool. I love it. So that's on my, like, to pick up list for sure. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was like, wait, how's this doing that? And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't get it. Yeah, sure. Sack that guy. You discarded Roast Mountain Mountain. Lightning Bolt. Why didn't they cast the lightning bolt first? I don't understand. Oh, Baney boy. Uh, you're going to have to each opponent's upkeep that player. Now we're still going to plus. I guess I should have played Bane Slayer first, right? That's how that goes. Gaining four here. This is really surprising that against the mono red deck, we're winning with a Frexine Arena and a Bitter Blossom in play. Plus, all their spells cost two more, so there's functionally no way they can kill this unless they go sixth land, chain lightning for three. Okay, that's the end. 
f like Firebolt for three. Oh, Bolt killed the first first. So I thought they had four cards in hand. I guess they discarded three. Again, we're bringing in Firebolt here. Take out Obliterator. Actually, a Blitz seems really good here. Let's take out a Plains for another Swamp. Let's play 41. Could have taken out Shieldred, I guess. Anyway, you look at it, you lose. Where have you gone, all of my black mana? I ate a cookie ice cream sandwich for dinner. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, man. Kermit being a huge fan of The Simpsons, I find it quite funny that sometimes he just sounds like Ralph Wiggum. Yeah, we'll keep this. Um, let's ship Swampy Dompy. And this is turn to this guy. We'll get a plateau and then we can have this. Did he say Swampy Dompy? Buddy, you know he did. Oh, Aspiring Vintage. Uh, that's, um, yeah, we can, uh, no, we can't. Ooh, this is awkward now because we need double black. Okay, hold on. Let's figure it out. Hmm. Not having one black, white, we're just going to risk it. It's fine. Not having one black, white land in the deck to fetch is pretty bad. If we get Plateau, we can't cast Liliana. If we get, like, Badlands, then we can't cast the double white card yet. Yeah, this is pretty rough. Okay, we're, we're going to bring in Damnation in the future now. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Let's get Badlands here. One, two, three. Lilianos. Kill this guy because it actually does something. We can go Bloodline Keeper. I mean, they're going to kill Liliana here, which is fine, I guess. Uh, why don't we play Dragon Skull first? Because it wouldn't come into play untapped, and I wanted to suspend this. I guess we could have to not foretell this. Oh, they're just going face here. That's interesting. This is pretty wild, actually. We're killing the two power creatures. If they want to sack Bomat Courier, that's fine. They're going to do that anyway. But I don't want to, like, just get it off the board. Because next turn we can kill it for free anyway, so. Did you see the Wayne Brady Mark Rebelay YouTube? I don't even know who, who I, I think I know who Wayne Brady is, but I don't think I know who Mark Rebelet Rebelet Rebelay? Kerr would have a good night, buddy. I appreciate you, buddy. Okay, we're at four. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I mean, if they have... Yeah, they're just going to sack that guy. That's whatever. One, two, three, 
four, bloody boy. No. Yeah, so if they drew like Lightning Bolt, they just kill us with Chandra. Odysseus with five more subs. Oh my god. I love you, buddy. You are awesome, dude. Thank you. Man. Keeping me alive. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. You are awesome. I appreciate you. Thank you. But did you see the Wayne Brady Dave Chappelle collab? I did. I did see that. Thank you. What is this? Rift Bolt? Sahili. Okay. If you're slow rolling like a lightning bolt here and I'm tapped out, it's gonna be pretty BM. Pretty BM, buddy. Okay. Do we block the... I think we block this just because, like... I mean, if they have a pump spell, or if they have a burn spell, that would kill us anyway. So, they didn't. Okay, Plateau is fascinating. Oof, I wish I could kill this. <laughs> and also play Baneslayer at the same time. All right. Yep, we're just going to pass here. Give me one turn, one turn, one turn. Give me that one turn. Don't draw the burn spell. I bet you draw it. And you kill me. And then we have to... <laughs> Non-descriptive deity saving during COVID. That's all I could ask for. Faithless looting. You may cast... Oh, man, that's great that they... Oh, fuck, they're just going to kill us now, though, right? Uh, I think they just played Mute Vault last turn. It's like turn six. Played Mute Vault, yeah. All right. Uh, the job, well, I mean, remoter in Colorado is basically the same thing. Oh, no, I see what you're saying. Um, it would be, it would not be, <laughs> so <laughs> it would be neither, actually. I would likely have to, uh, figure out a way to work in California. So, I mean, I'll have to cross that bridge when I come to it, but the opportunity might be too good. So we might have to just like make it work. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Odysseus, thank you for the gifted subs. Really appreciate it. One, two, with a deck I thought could be much better, but it wasn't. And that's life. But that's okay. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Be sure to follow or subscribe either on Twitch or on YouTube. They're both super helpful and they're great ways to support the channel. So do that. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.